Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hold My Nugget Studios once again, live from the bubble in Orlando, Florida, for the second of our Game 1s and our Game 3s in your 2020 NBA postseason game highlight commentary. We start out first in the Western Conference as the Los Angeles Lakers take on the Houston Rockets. <laughs> Early on for L.A., their offense would click as LeBron would ease his way to the paint. Then he'd find bum-ass Danny Green outside for three. But the facial hair supremacist James Harden and the rest of the Houston Rockets would put that 7-0 run to an end. Westbrook would take a trip to the bank and suddenly Houston even up the score at 12 apiece. The balding goat would ease his way into the paint again. But Eric Gordon would connect on a three and give Houston their first lead of the day. James Harden would make it a second and then he'd proceed to make it rain from three. Hey, Rondo, watch out for that banana. First game back and homie still ain't got no balance. A little bit of zero on zero violence, Westbrook defeats Kuzma. LeBron James. Inside once again, and for 10 plus years, nobody has respected Rondo's jump shot. Austin Nile Rivers would pull up for three on LeBron right between his eyes. But the good Morris twin would say right back at... Yes, no. I take that back. Rebound by LeBron James, skips it across, and that's how the white man shoots the basketball. Huffington would put in a jumper and say Black Lives Matter, and back the other way, LeBron would dunk all over Russell Westbrook. Triple-double poppy felt double nuts all over his forehead. Look at JaVel McGee in bewilderment. He dunked on him from the east to the west. Back to the east. Back to the west. Oh my god. But surprisingly, all that did was inspire the Rockets to play even harder, and James Harden would continue to put on a clinic offensively. LeBron with that weak ass look at my wrist three point shot as he'd get that to go. AD would attribute to Kobe on a magnificent looking jump shot, and then he'd go inside and get big on James Harden. Three, didn't he? Not on my watch. Danny Green with the steal. Rajon Rondo going coast to coast before Houston can even get set and Russell Westbrook would say monkey see, monkey do. We know Black China's a thought and she swallows loads. Let me see that finger roll. Facial hair supremacist step back poppy for three. We into the second half. Yoink. James Harden's pass intercepted by Anthony Davis. LeBron James back the other way would find JaVel McGee inside for the alley-oop. Somebody check that teardrop for weed. James Harden put that thing way too high. Put some respect on my name. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. He ain't the king for no reason. <laughs> it's on wall! Hey! It's on wall! I don't give a fuck. Is this your game? James Harden with the finishing transition. He'd find Eric Gordon in the corner. The three is good. Then Harden once again making plays. He'd find Jeff Green cutting inside. Is that Kyle Kuzma? If you don't get that bullshit out of my face, bitch. By some miracle, L.A. is able to maintain possession despite the scramble. Rajon Rondo would look to reset. He'd give the ball to Anthony Davis, who'd get inside for a beautiful layup. Russell Westbrook wants vengeance for getting blocked by LeBron. He'd throw up a quick layup on him. And Austin Rivers got to the paint with such ease. The layup's good. Robert Covington gives LeBron way too much space. He'd bury them with a three, but back the other way. Russell Westbrook would put it off the glass, and it's good. Who got Eric Gordon's controller? Why he keep button mashing the pump fake? This is ridiculous. How many? times they gonna leave Rondo open. I guess Eric Gordon ain't shit. Ain't nobody covering him. LeBron James. Miss layup and here goes Russell Westbrook in transition. Opportunity to get payback. Access denied. Bitch. But he take out his frustrations on AD with the three. Then Eric Gordon inside with a layup and James Harden got Danny Green playing Dance Dance Revolution and one on Anthony Davis and look at him stand at Davis calling him a bitch with his eyes. But at least Ronda would make them pay with a wide. Got it, I got it, I got it. LeBron held scoreless in the fourth quarter. AD would connect on a three, but did that help the Lakers come back and win? Absolutely not. Jeff Green puts the dagger in, and Houston wins by 15 as they take a 1-0 lead over the Los Angeles Lakers. Up next, game three in a series that only Miami Heat fans have been able to predict as they take on the Milwaukee Bucks and look to put them in a 3-0 hole. Not on my watch. Are you sure about that? Chris Malcolm in the Middleton would start hot in the first quarter. Talking kick! And Brooke Lopez would finish on the other end with a three. Jay Lotto with Crotter would activate his dreadlock powers. <laughs> That's how the white man shoots the basketball. Duncan Robinson would agree with that sentiment. Max Kellerman might just be masturbating every time Andre Iguodala makes a three-point shot. International baskets for three. 
George Hill would make his presence felt as he'd put in a beautiful free throw jump shot just before the end of the first quarter and the most Eric of Bledsoe's would get the scoring started for the Bucks in the second. What did I tell you about those dreadlock powers? But Milwaukee would go blow for blow with Miami. Looks like the groupies might be on the way to the bubble because both teams can't stop scoring and you know the harlots going to want in on that. That's how the white man shoots the basketball. Jimmy White shoes Butler inside. The shot is... Why is Giannis shooting threes? I got it, I got it, I got it. Bucks able to maintain possession, and Chris Malcolm in the Middleton puts in a perimeter jumper, but back the other way. Bam, bam, don't do that. We into the second half, and looks like the Bucks may have found their stroke as Chris Malcolm in the Middleton puts in a jumper. Brooke Lopez puts in another jumper from three. Giannis would use rapid spin inside, and he'd continue to bully the Miami defenders. Score inside. The lead is nine, but back the other way comes Miami. The most Jimmy of Butlers puts in a three-point shot. Bam with a floater. Jimmy with a three, and suddenly it's a one-point lead. Not on my watch. Looks like Milwaukee made sure Miami didn't pay the gas bill because the heat seemed to have been quelled as Milwaukee would go on another offensive stretch. Giannis inside could not be stopped. Dunking on people's heads. 7-0 run. Make that a 9-0 run. The offense still hasn't stopped and they're going into the fourth quarter with a 12-point lead. But as we know, the Bucks are like women in the bedroom with poor sexual partners because they just don't know how to finish as they'd allow the Miami Heat to come all the way back. They got outscored 21-8 to in in six minutes. Hey Giannis, give me your ankle, says Andre Iguodala. Then he'd find somebody would finally release the Bucks from the Genjutsu as George Hill would put a layup home and Giannis would regain the lead. But that's as far as they would go as their electricity bill would cut off and there's no way to stop the heat now. Jimmy Buckets inside, high up off the glass. Jay Lauder with Crowder, dreadlock powers never being denied. Oh, fuck yeah. Chris Malcolm in the Middleton for three. To the long, long, long. Giannis in transition, spin move. Game over, man. Game over. This man missed an easy layup. Take the L out of lover. It's over, brother. Milwaukee's going down 0-3 as the Miami Heat would tell him to join the Los Angeles Lakers in taking out their Metro cards. And again in the board. The A. And soon enough, they're going to arrive at Elimination Station because nobody in NBA history has ever came back from an 0-3 deficit. They're 0 and 139. The writing is on the wall. The end is near. Ladies and gentlemen, get your pens ready because a death note will be coming. Oh, what's on? <laughs>